Hello and welcome to the introduction to the boilerplate for Wapla. My name is Ben Blazier. This boilerplate was created for my own use. I wanted a way to be able to kickstart a project that produces a website containing a couple of basic features. Namely, I want it to be a single page application, SPA, and I want it to be a progressive web application, PWA. This video will show the end result so that you can decide for yourself if this is what you want for your next project. Using the demo site, I'll click on About, leaving the other pages untouched. I'll right-click on the page and choose Inspect. This opens a developer window where we'll, set, where we'll go offline. I'll now choose the two previous menu items where we see that the contents show as if we were online. Normally it would show that the site cannot be reached. If we now choose the remaining untouched menu items, we get a much nicer notification. When we go back online and refresh the page, we see the page's content as normal. Reverting to offline mode, all of our pages now show the content. To explain, in our code we have a service worker that places our content in cache storage. The first storage item is static and gets created when we first open the site. The other storage is dynamic, meaning that any remaining content will go here. There are two other parts that make up the PWA namely the manifest and the service worker. The web app manifest is a JSON file that tells the browser about the PWA and how it should behave when installed on the user's desktop or mobile device. A service worker is a script that your browser runs in the background, separate from a web page opening the door to features that don't need a web page or user interaction. Opening the control panel, we see that we can install our app in Chrome. Select the option and our app pops up. Other browsers and operating systems will have their own unique way to install the app. We now have our icon in the Chrome app panel. As well as that, our app also shows on our desktop. That is it for the introduction to progressive web apps using Wepla. If you feel that this is what you want, please watch the next video where I will show you how to install the boilerplate for Wepla. Thank you for watching.